Hey everyone, today's lesson is how to wax line your red Sorel lines on your tile. So all semester I've been telling you that um, it's important to keep your hands moisturized so you both don't take a lot of uh, moisture out of your clay and so your hands don't dry out. Well, now I'm going to tell you please just wash your hands and make sure that there is no lotion or oils on your skin because that will actually clog the pores of your tile and glaze won't get into the surface of your tile. So um, I started creating wax lines on this Sorel tile, I mean on the Sorel line. Um, and then I realized that um, the applicator was a little wide and the lines were a little thick. So we want them a little bit thinner than this. So I changed out the nozzle to the yellow nozzle. So um, every period, you know, after class, after we do this, um, we're just gonna have to clean out um, this nozzle really, really well because it will wreck the nozzle. It's so skinny. Um, normally at home when I'm doing this, I keep a pin in it. Well, this hole is so small that you can't even fit a pin in there. So um, what I'd like you to do first is take a piece of scrap paper and just see how this feels and understand how hard to squeeze or not to squeeze. You want your lines to be continuous. Um, try to make them so they're not so globby. Um, and of course it takes a little practice. So um, in the beginning, you know, my first line, you can see that it's a little globby and um, and it gets better as you go. So here we are. When you're ready, you take your tile, hold it with one hand and with your drawing hand, you're going to just very lightly squeeze and move your hand at the same time. Some of you might find that it helps to also move your tile a little bit with your hand. Nice steady. I'm both pinching the bottle really steadily and moving the nozzle steadily. So this does take practice. If you glob a little bit, don't worry about it. A little bit of variation is great it will make our tiles look handmade, which is really important. Everybody wants those tiles to be handmade looking. That's the whole point of making them ourselves. Try really hard not to lean in what you've done already. This is called wax lining. So in the end, what's going to happen is we are going to use pipettes, like really tiny pipettes, to apply different glaze colors within these lines. Wax lines take at least an hour to dry. So it kind of works out because we'll do this this period. And then we're gonna move on and glaze next period. There we go.
Mm -hmm. Where's my little wax line?